Hey guys, what's going on? Ordinary here, episode 34, I think? Yes, 34 as the GM of the Phoenix Coyotes. And uh, last episode we had a heartbreaking defeat against the uh, LA Kings. We managed to claw our way into round two, but uh, no such luck in uh, against the Kings. And uh, we simmed up right before the draft here. This is going to be just the draft re-sign episode of year six. Um, let's take a look straight into not stat central gm options scouting prospect game player stats and see if there's anyone um that we could maybe pick up in a later round look at all these enforcers it's unbelievable 76 taylor kemp okay that's about it for that team And that's it for this team as well. So Taylor Kemp, any goalies? Nope. So it looks like Taylor Kemp is the best uh, CHL player this year. Let's see where he's scouted to go. He's scouted to go sixth. So we're not going to pick up both of these guys. Uh, he's 6'5", 209. That's not 6'9", 234, I'll tell you that much. What a beast. What a tall human being. No one even rivals him in the draft. I think I might have sound a 6'7", up there a little bit. If we still, I don't think we have a second round pick, but if we do, we should try to find the shortest guy. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we want to be at least fourth, although, like I said last time, since uh, two of the top three are goalies, um, it's a little bit unnerving that one of these teams might not want to pick a goalie and then move up and take um, Tobias Kink, who is who we want to pick. So we'll see. Just jump straight into the draft here. Ball's deep. We are seventh currently. Fourth is the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, we'll see. So any Flyers, we want to check out uh, Boston, Detroit, Winnipeg, and the Flyers. First we will check out Boston. They do not want to give it up. Detroit... Does not want to give it up. Winnipeg does not want to give it up. And the Philadelphia Flyers do not want to give it up. So, honestly, uh, that is pretty much at the end of the A in the word trade value. And it looked like Winnipeg's was exactly the same. Oops, not Washington's. Winnipeg's. Yeah, it's a little bit more, but it's safety, right? They want this. They don't want to give that up. Uh, we might as well toss in our thirds because they want it. And it's going to add. Um, I'm not sure how good this guy's overall is going to be coming straight out of the draft because uh, you can't check it in the prospect game, which is kind of nice. CC had a little bit of a jump there, which is uh, fucking finally, right? Um, so I want to look at our defensemen and see who we could get away with trading. One, two, one, two. Granat, uh, they want, but I don't know if that's a really smart thing to trade him away. Stone has some trade value to him. We're going to have to put someone like this in the trade. It's just a matter of fact. Just so uh, they actually make the trade go through. Hopefully we can replace him in free agency, but it's either like him or CC. CC might get a jump in this offseason, so I don't want to get rid of him. So I'm a lot more comfortable dealing Stone. And will that go through, you think? That and that. It probably won't, but we have more than one phone, so I'll try this. Yeah, we got it. Okay, perfect. So we're going to shut down the phone. Hopefully no one takes our guy. There we go. We can pull him at third. Tobias Kink, the defensive defenseman. Looking like he's going to be four stars for us, which is perfect. Pull him. Oh, voice crack. We'll pull him at third overall. It looks like they, uh, they did... Um, not take the uh, the goalie fourth if you look at that so it's a good thing that uh, we did move up because there's a good chance that Viennu and Kink would have or Kink would have passed Burroughs like they did so happy with that uh, we pretty much have no point in drafting anymore we do really need to uh, get some players on this team though I can't keep trading away all our lower picks because we have zero uh Zero depth right now in the depth chart. It is sad. But I'm excited to get to this re-sign phase and see how good that player is because 
Unlike last year where we pulled Jeremy Baby 30th overall, uh, we pulled third overall this year, which is really good. And we're going to have a lot of contracts to deal with. But we have a ton of cap space. Literally a ton. 35, nearly 36 million. Where's Buddy? Is he? Oh, if he's green stars, I'll be stoked on that. Oh, what the fuck? Where is he? Did I pass him? Kink, right here. Oh, he's four and a half. 77. That's a really good draft pick. You guys are probably yelling at the fucking screen. You passed him. There he is. He's right there. 19 years old. Monstrous human being. Number 88. Um, that's awesome. Dude, that's a really good draft. I'm stoked on that. Uh, I guarantee you he was better than uh, Boston or Detroit's pick. Boston picked that enforcer and Detroit picked a goalie. So the goalie might be good. The enforcer never turns out. So don't draft those first overall. Yeah, definitely going to sign this guy. He could uh, he could replace, what's his dick? Stone that we just traded away for him. McKinley, we're going to have to re-sign. He, uh, I want to give him more than, than a two-year deal, but he's going to, ooh. He goes down for three. And then right back up, right back up. So we'll give him a three-year deal just to save some cap space. Uh, six, we're allowed to take 15% off. What would that be? I'm going to go ahead and say it's right about under a million. It'll be, it'll be a million. I'll be able to get away with this. Then we got Morgan Riley, who we've been saving up our cap space for, even though he's been doing absolutely nothing for us. He wants a big boy deal. Of course he does. Um... I'd rather give him a six-year deal because um, there's a good chance that we, when we re-sign, actually, no, let's give him the five-year deal. Let's give him the deal he wants. Be nice to him. Six million dollars. Hopefully, uh, we can pull 1.3 mil off there, and it's not going to be a problem. I don't think he'll take that contract, but hey, you never know. Gromit Morris, uh, he's been killing it for us also. Pretty happy with him. Uh, he's been second-line anchor, just absolutely dominating. Uh, probably get him to the same type of contract we got uh, McKinley to. Ooh, but we can give him a four-year deal and it's even cheaper. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pull uh, five million dollars for a second liner. is pretty good, especially in going into year seven where there's going to be tons of projected salary cap. What is it? Salary cap is 86 million. Nah, that's a lot higher. D'Angelo, he hasn't been doing anything for us with his red stars. Samuelson, he we've had him since the beginning. He hasn't done anything for us. Uh, let's just sort by overall. I know we have to get both our goalies too, so hit that up. But no UFAs, hey? Closest one is Boone Jenner. Uh, yeah, so like I said, he ended up getting to an 82. But yeah, let's get these goalies first. Four goalies uh, to sign here. Byzantine, of course, we're going to pick him up. Hopefully he doesn't want too much because his stats are average, right? They're not really that good. Give him a four-year deal. Everyone seems to be uh, contracts expiring at at um, 31 years old, so no different for him. 4.335. Hopefully he will accept that. Asham, of course, we're going to want him. He's our backup. Uh, hopefully the goalie of the future, though. That tells me that he's not. And that's very upsetting. But I'm okay with having a decent backup. But we need to get a starter that's going to be 88 overall eventually. That's what I want. I need like an 88 or higher goalie. That's how you win back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back cups. team has been really good. Um, a couple Veznas, a couple Conn Smythes, Stanley Cups. I'm pretty sure he's got one Vezna, one Conn Smythe. But you know what? It's the same thing. Uh, so I'm not too confident about... Uh, about um, Morgan Riley, yeah, see, he rejected. Everyone else was happy with it. So let's get Morgan Riley back on the team. Overall, I'm sorting. What the hell's going on? Oh, I'm on rookie skaters. <laughs> uh, oh, McKinley didn't like his contract either, so apparently it didn't work. But maybe that uh, that smartened him up a little bit. So I'll be able to pull him for. 6.35. I know that'll go through. And with McKinley, boost him up a year, bring him down to 
5.45. That should go through. So we get both of these two uh, studs back on the team. McKinley more so than Riley. But he is our defenseman, so he's our go-to guy. We got them both. We're still rolling with $17 million in cap space. Uh, we might as well pull Boone Jenner back. We just made the trade for him, so... Third line, checking forward wants a lot of money for what he does. Um, I'll give you this. Uh, Zach Phillips went down from an 82 to an 81 playing on that third line. So we'll see where we lay without him first. Uh, Denault, we don't need. We don't need to bring Jimmy Hayes back. Or not, we don't need to bring back. Samuelson, we might as well re-sign. See if he can get a little baby jump. Yeah, just a one-year deal. He might be able to uh, play on that fourth line now. If he does get a jump, Carnival, uh, your face frightens me. You can go. So let's go to depth right here. Forwards, we've got one, two, three. That's our first line. One, two, three. That's our second line. Just 87s overall to the moon and back. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Uh, and then we get a decent drop off. We go down to Jenner, uh, Zanin. Uh, Jenner will be coming back. So that's our third line. Hanowski had a little drop off too from 82 to 81. Phillips, Ernie, and Hayes right now is the third line. But we don't have Phillips. We don't have Hayes. What we do have is Samuelson and Drasadel. So... It uh, wouldn't be the worst idea to bring one of these guys back in case uh, there's nothing in free agency. But we can also always bring them back during free agency. So let's go just by positions. We got one, two, three. And we don't have a fourth line center right now uh, unless Samson gets the jump. Left wingers, one, two. Zanin is third. Drisaitl, man, I don't really want to put him on the fourth line at 77. So we don't have a left winger. Right winger, right winger, right winger right winger so we need a centerman and a left winger defenseman we're gonna need to pull one from free agency definitely uh, I guess we will resign Gurnett just to be safe if there's nothing there he can be our sixth guy now that we do not have um, stone but kink Tobias kink the big 6'9 fucking German bastard hopefully he can uh, make a jump and crack that roster And I feel like we have enough cap space that why not sign these guys? So, don't know why I'm sorting my potential. Let's get um, Denault back. Just for a year, buddy. Don't get ahead of yourself. $2 million. And who was our left winger? Oh, we didn't have one. It was Hayes. We had two right wingers playing. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? He had a big playoff goal for us. We'll reward that. Okay. So that should be the end of re-signing what we currently have. Then we can jump right into free agency and uh, hopefully improve the team through there. We have $13 million to spend once we get there. And uh, currently, no one's been released. That's incredible. Devin Setaguchi is looking like the best free agent at this point, but... Uh, Fingers crossed someone gets dumped into there that, uh... Oh, D'Angelo, I should probably get him. Go to contract screen. Thanks for reminding me, game. Make sure I'm not missing out on any other prospects. Give him a three-year deal. Uh, who else, who else? RFA is this Murphy guy we picked up in that trade for the pick. Otherwise, nothing else matters. Phillips, I thought I... Oh, no, I picked up Denault instead. Ooh, maybe I want Phillips, though. What does he want? If he wants less than two, I'll pick him up. No. Okay, you can piss off. We don't need you. All right. Let me know if I got... What's his knob back? There we go, D'Angelo. Sign free agents. Who do we got? No one. Uh, Patrick Nemeth is the best uh, defenseman, as is Ryan Murphy, who we just traded. Um, was he part of that pick? Part of that trade to get the pick from uh, the Islanders? Might have been. 
So, uh, yeah, another disappointing year in free agency, just like the fucking last one. Um, I'm good with picking up all these players. I mean, Nemeth actually wants a contract. He wants uh, just two years, but it's a decent chunk of money. Uh, we don't have anyone else to spend it on, really. Um, so I'm okay with giving him a two-year deal there. Strom. We can definitely rebuild our uh, our third line. Um, and more so our fourth line. I didn't need to sign all those guys that I did end up signing. We'll get we'll get Hornquist for the third line. Teams are interested. Uh, we learned last year the hard way, um, not to fuck around. So here, I'll give you an extra two million of what you want, or two hundred thousand. Sorry. Hopefully that'll uh, entice you to come to the Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, Nemeth. Uh, I'm not sold on him just because he does want so much money. Uh, what are we looking at for potential players? Thrower. He doesn't want much. I'll pick up him just uh, quick and easy. There we go. Hopefully he gets a little off-season jump. 82, Strom. Third line center. I'd be happy to pick him up. What does he want for money? 3 million. Sure, why not? He was a new third line center next to Hornquist, our new third line winger. Is he a restricted free agent, though? Let's find out. Turn this into UFAs and see if he's still there. Strom, he is still there, so he's not restricted, so I can give him whatever I want. Uh, he's actually a player I'd like to have for a while, so I wouldn't uh, hate giving him a... He only wants two years, though, so I'll give him what he wants. But I'll definitely bust him up because we're getting Strom. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. So that's basically half our cap space. A little bit more than half our cap space. And we still need a defenseman. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Murphy instead of... Uh, instead of... Uh, what's his dick? Why am I in goalies? Instead of Nemeth. Just because it's a million and a half saved. Uh, they're basically the same player. Defensive D, offensive D, so they're not basically the same player. I made that up. Good shot for Nemeth, though, power-wise. Accuracy, not so much. Really strong physical player. Good skater. Defensive awareness, not where it should be for a defenseman. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like this. I like Murphy way better anyways, stats-wise. Uh, other teams are interested. We want to bring him back, so we will give him bonus money. And uh, if we have enough money, I wouldn't mind pulling a left winger for that third line like Clark MacArthur, but I don't want to uh, end up where it says, like, yeah, I wanted to join a team, but you don't have the cap space anymore. And all these players are on one- to two-year deals, so by the time anyone needs a new deal, extremely happy, extremely happy, extremely happy, extremely happy. Perfect. So um, how much cap space do we actually have? Because it is an update. Yeah, we only have 1.5. See up there, now it says what we have. It said we had 12 again. So we have 1.5 million left to spend. I'll see if there's any uh, anyone worth picking up. Hurdle, uh, not so much worth picking up, though. Whoever this Kurjadrowski guy is, that's not a bad player. I might go for him. Anyone else? No, I like Kurjadrowski. He's, uh, he's got two years to jump, and he's already 78. As for goalies, I haven't checked. De Silva, Whitney. I uh, don't mind Whitney. Might want to get Whitney instead to see if he gets a big jump and is worth something for trading. He wants one million. What does Buddy want? Over here. One point three million. So he now nah, I'll get the goalie. Um, just he's just going to be a trading asset. We're not going to use him. Two years. How about one year? Perfect. That's our team. We'll sim up to where we can edit lines and call it an episode. No surprise that we got him. Let's go. Let's go.
So we managed to fill up our cap. We only have 1.3 million left. But uh, hopefully with Hornquist and uh, Strom, that'll bring us to the next level. Especially when we had some of the regression there because we were playing players where they didn't really want to be. And uh, that's what's going to happen. So average age of 25 on the button. I'm excited to see if uh, Tobias Kink gets a jump here. Because that would make me pretty stoked. If, uh, pull him right out of the draft and put him in. Otherwise, it's the year in the AHL to get better. But four and a half gold stars for a defenseman. Um, especially when there's not a lot of good D prospects. Um, most of them are forward prospects. So I'm happy that we managed to get him. I wonder what his trade value is. Because we did give up a lot to get him. We gave up Laura Kanan and um, and what's his dick Stone. Laura Kanan, Stone, and our first basically is what we paid to get him, and uh, and someone else, Murphy. But that doesn't really count because we got him back now, anyways. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a scout. We'll send you out, buddy. Uh, I wouldn't mind pulling a goalie just because, like I said, there's a top ten goalie. Let's check the WHL just to make sure there's not eight there. There's not. Let's see, there's two anywhere. Top ten and second round. Yeah, might as well. No, let's check the one that has the second round goalie in his. Oh, top five goalie out of Russia. We're checking him. We're giving him six weeks. We're gonna know exactly what that guy's all about. All right. Edit the lines. Make sure no one's hiding in the uh, in the miners. Zanin is. Bring him up. So Kink got up. He jumped up to a 79, and he was a 77. Zanin, we need him up. We'll swap him with someone who didn't get jump. Jimmy Hayes, sure. And uh, thrower, you can go down. We don't need you at this point. Ernie. Do we want Ernie? We'll see what our lines are like right now. Okay. Hanowski is saying to put him on the fourth line, which, yeah, I guess his glory days are done. What is he now, like 32, 29, same thing. <laughs> Boone Jenner centering that fourth line. Denault left-winging that fourth line. Zanin, I'm happy with putting him there. I was hoping he'd get a jump. Like, when is this guy going to make his jump, right? But uh, 81, that's fine. Strom, he... Uh, regressed to an 82. He was an 83 when we signed him and he went down, so not happy with that, especially when he was four gold stars. Hornquist, he stayed where he was, so Strom ended up being a bust. What a piece of shit. Unhappy with that, big time. Um, it looks like we have a really front-loaded team here, boys, yet again. Uh, sniper, sniper, power forward. I don't know... I want to see what it's like for a first... when it says, like, first... Or a second, the roll. So we officially have four first liners. Um, McKinley um, has graduated, or no, it was Skinner. Skinner changed from a second line back to a first liner. So we have two first line left wingers. So one of them, either Toscola or Skinner, will have to be on that second line. Grummet Morris, you don't belong up here. I'm sorry, you just don't. So is it sniper, sniper, two way forward? Or is it power forward, sniper, two-way forward, and sniper, playmaker, sniper? We're going to go like this because Toskala shit the bed in the playoffs and he doesn't deserve to be a first liner. Ah, uh, But we can't. No, we have to put him up because if we don't play him in the spot, he'll get the red stars and it'll be fucking shitty. Dauphin. Was Dauphin the first liner or the second liner? I should check. I think he's the second liner. Dauphin's set to second, right? Nope, he's the first liner, so we're going to switch that. Galchenyuk can go down. So it's still sniper, uh, playmaker, power f or two-way forward, sniper, power forward, sniper. Ooh, there's not going to be a lot of passing going on up there. Unless uh, Tosla's still got a dirty... Yeah, 89's not bad. Dauphin, although he's set as a sniper, he's got 82 passing, so yeah, that is pretty bad. And McKinley, he's a sniper, but he's got 90 passing, so... Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, as far as defense goes... Um, basically it's the same as last year except we got Murphy up instead of Stone Gormley back up to an 86 Ekman Larson up to an 85 CC up to an 84 uh, Summers 
was an 83 or was he an 84? But that's good. Morgan Riley didn't get his jump in his final year, so he's going to stay at an 88. Gormley, good to see him go back up. Ekman Larson going up. CC going up. I'm happy with that. And goaltenders. Whitney jumped up to an 83, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's the guy we signed as a trading asset. It seems like every year we're pulling a... Where's... What's his dick? Where's Asham? Oh, my God. You know what I did? He probably didn't like the contract I gave him. And uh, I thought he did, and he fucking left. That's totally what happened. Fuck. Aw, shit. Where did he go? All right. I fucking goosed it, boys. Contracts. Let's find out where our goalie went. Ugh. Ugh. He's probably on a main roster, too. Why didn't I see him when I sorted by potential goalies? What the hell? Asham. Asham. Where's Asham? Watch it. Watch him jump up to like a fucking 87 and just be impossible to get back now, too. 82. He went to... Uh, he's still... He's... Uh, he went to um, Winnipeg. Bunch of assholes. Give me my goalie back, okay? We're going to trade negotiations. I'm getting our goalie back. I know I fucked up. I bet you uh, Whitney's doing the fucking laggy goalie thing where he has no trade value. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Love this game. Asham has a pubes worth of trade value. Definitely down from where he was when we got him. Uh, it might be worth waiting... Oh, until uh, Whitney comes out of his funk and stops being listed as a minor league starter and as a regular starter or a backup. Hmm. Oopsie. Yeah, I fucking goosed that one big time. Classic me. Okay, well, we'll get him back next episode, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Um, if you like the video, please press like on it. It means a lot. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, same with subbing to the channel. Definitely helps me get uh, a little bit more exposure. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.